Getting right into it, we're going to use tape, hot glue, scissors, an X-Acto knife, giant craft sticks, and two boxes. I basically went ahead and used the tape to seal the box before using my ruler to go ahead and measure. I've decided three inches was deep enough for each uh, little tray on each side of the basketball goal. So I'm just showing you here how I drew the line going all the way around. And then I used a combination of my X-Acto knife and my scissors to go ahead and cut those out. Whichever you prefer, you can use. Um, I actually just like to get mine started with the X-Acto knife and use the scissors to finish it off. I'm cutting down the rest of the box so that I can just have the pieces to um, basically glue here as a base and then you'll see further into the video how I use the rest of that box. So again, hot glue gun makes this really quick and easy. Gonna go ahead and glue each side, each base, you wanna have it sturdy. And this is the second box I ended up having to pull out because I realized I didn't have enough to make the full thing. So I used this, basically went ahead and measured to make sure it was the right width I cut two pieces of that out and ended up gluing it together back to back. And that was basically just the backboard for the tabletop basketball goal. Again, I glued them together and you see here, put it in between and went ahead and glued all of that. I have a plate um, and the candle is basically just to draw the circle, make it easier. Um, Again, here I have my X-Acto knife. I went ahead and cut the inner circle using the X-Acto knife. You can use scissors here, again, whichever you prefer. And then I went ahead and brought out my scissors to go ahead and just cut out the mark that I made here. Um, I'm using this as the basketball hoops. Here I'm just cutting out two small tabs so that I can connect the basketball hoops to the backboards. Um, and again, here is just using the tape to make circles and pulling my X-Acto knife out again to go ahead and cut those circles out. So I did that on both sides. And here I am just using uh, little strips of cardboard to basically make it so that when the ball goes in, it's automatically guided to the hole that I previously cut out. As you can see here, it's basically like a slide. Here I'm just testing it out to make sure the ball goes directly through the hole as I planned. Um, I'm taking the two chip clips here and hot gluing the large craft sticks. Um, basically, I'm just using this to make the catapult to launch the ball. So you want to make sure those are nice and secure. And then I'm going to take my two styrofoam cups and just go ahead and cut off the bases of those. This is basically going to be where the ball sits on top of the catapult um, in order for you to launch it. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that as well to each one. And then I'm gonna just test it out to make sure that it launches. And as you can see here, boop, there we go. Here I am just attaching one to each side, again with my hot glue. You're gonna just make sure and press it and make sure you get a good tight seal there. Um, turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, I also uh, created the ball slide on both sides of the basketball goal. And here are my boys testing it out. Uh, they really had a ball playing it, no pun intended. They really enjoyed it. And if you want more tutorials, like, subscribe, follow, um, there'll be more to come.